protagonism. It's a fact that the human population has been continuously increasing in the last years. Until 2050, two-thirds of the world population are expected to be living in cities, places that concentrate some of the most pressing challenges we face today. And local governments are the ones who feel the impact and deal with the consequences of them first. Therefore, it's important that cities are considered crucial actors in the international system. The greatest international agendas, such as the Sustainable Development Goals and the New Human Agenda, need to be implemented by cities to be effective. Some international organizations have already recognized this. The next step is to translate that recognition into actions that actually support cooperation with the international community. The first one is that these great agendas are still being discussed and decided, mainly lacking the city's participation, and because of that, do not always reflect the specific needs and realities of local governments. The second one is that local governments' responsibilities have only increased with time, but their budget remains, in most cases, insufficient. Multilateralism is the way to effectively include cities on the debate about the rumor world. In the city's participation in United Nations debates has been growing. Thus, it is crucial to explore cities' potentials to, on one hand, represent their people and their demands, and on the other, convert these international agendas into concrete public policies. More than that, international organizations can facilitate and create the necessary means to foster the financing of projects in cities, so they are financially able to put these agendas in practice. It's important to make a note on how international cities networks are already doing a vital working to strengthen cities' participation in the international, cities, international system. These networks have been the basis of community of local leaders capable Can of assisting and create the necessary means to foster the financing <laughs> of projects in cities, so they are financially able to put these agendas in practice. It's important to make a note on how international cities networks are already doing a vital working to strengthen cities' participation in the international, cities, international system. These networks have been the basis of community of local leaders capable of understanding and articulating their demands and needs. To strengthen this international community in support of local authorities, we must <coughs> intensify our work with city networks. Sustainable development is the most pressing subject of all when we talk about local policy. It also unifies actors and as it involves the preservation and recuperation of the environment, human resilience, affordable housing, mobility, food security, and migration. They are all issues of high relevance that must be faced by the international community. That's why we, from Sao Paulo City Hall, are here to work together with you for a more resilient, sustainable, and inclusive world. I wish you all a great event and that uh, we have the courage to build a better future for the next generation. generations. Thank you.